Okay, YouTubers, this is the Spectre U435CV-UMC 43-inch 4K Ultra HD 2160p 60Hz LED HD TV. This was a, um, I don't know, Cyber Monday, Black Friday week, whatever you want to call it now. Thanksgiving Day special from Walmart 259. 249 or something. Anyway, I picked it up with the three year warranty because it seemed like um, all the reviews online for the warranty were pretty good. Anyway, so this is just a quick unboxing and a, and a power up of the 4K unit. Let me just get right into it. Interesting, interestingly enough, the site the store, when I went in to pick this up tonight, they didn't require any identification or email confirmation or anything. I just gave them my name, and uh, they brought the TV out, and I signed for it. This looks like a one mount for the bottom. Got little rubber feet here, rubber kind of rubber. They're actually pretty hard, but two of those in the very top of the box. Looks like pretty good padding, pretty good packaging. Pretty big piece here. And the TV is a piece of. Padding here with thick cardboard on the front to protect it, I guess. Not much on the back, but uh, definitely sufficient. So I pull this out. Maybe. thing in the box, a remote manual, a couple AAA batteries, and a little screwdriver, I'm guessing, for the little screws for the feet. Go ahead and open this up. Over here. here. We have a very simple user's guide. Total of, oh, there we go. It's a full pull out. Very basic. Should be enough for your average consumer. Limited product warranty. Let's see, it says one year from date of original retail purchase. Or 90 days for commercial use. Let's see. Keep your dated bill of sale or receipt as evidence of purchase date. Don't return this unit back to the store. Oh no! Okay. Um, it gives you a little information about motion compensation. This is the wannabe, not really a real refresh rate of a monitor. It does kind of an effective interpolation in software. Some people hate it. Makes your TV look like everything's like a soap opera. Write a review. Your opinion matters. Connect with us. <clears throat> okay. And here's the remote. Pretty pretty basic from a remote. Actually kind of big for a TV. But looks like some 
the universal maybe it's got some soundbar stuff here guide menu I don't know if that would require me to look at the manual and I don't really care because I'm not going to use it so here's the screwdriver super cheesy something to throw in the kitchen drawer and here's our generic Tinco batteries and their screws. So let's go ahead and take the TV out. came this way, but this stuff is a little wonky. Just checking it over to make sure there's no obvious divots or anything in the screen. It's a good idea once you once you take the protective plastic off to uh, Hold the screen up to the light at an angle. Just make sure that there's no serious waving to the screen. With this one, I'm seeing some waving down here, but I'm not entirely sure if that's the bezel or if that's the screen itself. It looks like the bezel. A lot of times these hooks are too tight. And there's something weird going on here. Not sure what that is. But let's be honest, for a $249 4K screen, I really don't expect a lot. light, surprisingly light. Guessing. Okay, there's a little notch here that goes in the, in the notch. The screws in. Once I get to the, this together, I'll try to hold the screen up so you can see the waviness that I was talking about. It's really common, actually, in these cheaper units. But as long as it doesn't affect the video quality, it should be fine. Let me see if I can, see if I can get this really hard to do. There, maybe you can see that, right? See that down along the edge there? You can see some... There we go. Let's see. 
right along here. See that? There's a little bump there in the bezel. Now, as long as your screen is still flat, that's fine. But sometimes they'll be pushing in on the screen, and it'll create some light bleed and some other nasties. Let's see what we got on this thing. So on the side, we have our volume controls. They're actually little. Let me see if I get this. They're little buttons. There you go. And on the other side, there's nothing. Bottom, really nothing to speak of. It's kind of a vent all the way along the bottom, and there's a vent along the top also. Runs along the entire vent well, here, here, in the back here. So, looks like I have pretty good ventilation. This isn't, these slots aren't completely open. They're actually, now that I look at it, they're not open at all. Yeah, they're completely closed up. So this is your really only venting right here for the, for the unit. Just <laughs> kind of weird. Okay. As far as connectivity, two HDMIs. And let's see, one HDMI is 4K 30 hertz arc, it says. And the other HDMI, the yellow one there, is HDMI 3, 4K at 60 hertz is what it says. Has an optical out for your stereo, that's kind of nice. Left and right for some speakers and component input and the line out. For what, I don't know. Anyway, so, not too bad. And it has... It has your if you wanted to do a wall mounting you can do that in here too so overall not too bad so that is oh, an unboxing of the Spectre 435 let's see if I can 435 CV dash UMC 43 inch 4K Ultra HD 2160p 60 hertz LED HD TV